How soon should you share your emotions with him? If you're in a situation with a man where you're feeling uncertain about when to actually open up and share how you're feeling, whether you're having strong emotions of positive emotions or strong negative emotions, when should you share with him and how should you let him know about those so that you can stay connected and actually have him want to cherish and devote himself to you without questioning, doubting, or being insecure uh, in the relationship, actually lowering your own value. I'm Brody Boyd, if you don't know me already, and with my wife, Antia, for over 20 years combined, we've been helping women to find a loving, long-term, and committed relationship. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing you want to do is know that a man asking if, if when should I share my emotions with a man is like asking when should I have a man be attracted to me? When should I have a man start caring about me? So you basically have to answer that question for yourself. If you don't want a man to be attracted to you, if you don't want a man to start caring about your heart, then by all means, wait and do not share how you feel. Do not share your heart. Do not share your emotions. Keep them guarded. Keep them close and pretend that everything's good and pretend that you're okay and you don't need no man and that he's just going to have to figure it out on his own. <laughs> he's just going to have to guess or maybe even better, you should play hard to get and let him be completely uns confused and uncertain about your heart and what's inside of your heart and how your heart feels so that he can never have to risk feeling attracted or devoted or uh, love for you. So, of course, I'm joking here because the ideal is you, of course, want to share your heart and be open, raw, and vulnerable from the very beginning because that's what's going to make a man attracted to you. That's what's going to make him feel connected to your heart, start to feel feelings of love and connection, and you're creating a polarity. That's that passion. That's the only thing that creates long-term chemistry, attraction, passion is a masculine, feminine polarity and the juice that's created from that. So you want to share it early on. So how do you do that? So if you're with a man and you're feeling any strong emotions, you really want to share with him right away. But you do it in a feminine way so you're not throwing your emotions at him. You're not saying, hey, I feel anxious. Hey, I feel needy. Hey, I feel um, nervous. Hey, I feel fear. Hey, I feel desire. I feel insecure. Whatever those things that you're feeling are, you don't want to throw them at him and you also don't want to beat him over the head with him, with them or attack him or make all the emotions his responsibility that he needs to fix all those things. Instead, you open up in a feminine way where you're raw, real, and vulnerable with him, but that he could be inspired to actually want to help you with those emotions and want to help solve a problem that might exist with those, related to those. So you would say something like, may I share something with you? He'll say, sure. And you say, I feel anxiety. And he'll say, why do you feel anxiety? And say, because we've been talking for 30 minutes now, and I've noticed that you haven't um, asked me any questions about myself, and I'm telling myself a story that you don't actually care, and it makes me feel anxious, and I'm not sure what to do. I feel anxious about it. I'm not sure what to do. So you're not telling him what to do. You're not saying, hey, you're talking all the time. Why aren't you asking me any questions? You're saying, hey, I feel this emotion. I don't know what to do with it. I need help. Like I'm open, I'm raw, I'm vulnerable. And it's almost like you're talking to God. You're talking to the universe. You're saying, I don't know what to do. I'm feeling this emotion. I don't know what to do. And he gets to witness it. And now he can say, because you're not trying to control him. You're not telling him what to do. And you're not even putting it on him and saying like, you need to fix this. You're just sharing raw and vulnerably. And then he could say, oh shoot. And now he's feeling your heart. He's feeling connected to you, which is in itself going to start building an attraction. He could say, oh shoot. Yeah, I, I don't want you to feel that way. I want to help fix that for you. Um, like he'll say, he won't say that, but he'll say like, oh shoot. Yeah, I've been talking this whole time. I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize that I've been kind of, a, honestly, I'm a little nervous myself. This is like my first date. I've really official date I've gone on since my last breakup. And, uh, yeah, I just need to relax a bit, but yeah, go ahead. I would love to hear, I would love to hear more about you. Like, tell me more about your family. And then that will switch the dynamic. So now he's actually respecting you more because you spoke up, you shared, which only a high value woman would actually share because you have standards in a relationship. You expect that a man is treating you well, that a man is caring about your thoughts and feelings. A man is wanting to also know about you. He's wanting to care about you. And it almost doesn't matter what the reason was. The fact was that you had an emotion and you shared it with him and you shared the reason why you presented the problem 
without trying to tell him what to do. And you don't always have to have a reason. You can just say, I feel, may I share a feeling with you that I'm having? And he'll say, sure. And he'll say, I feel sad right now. And he'll say, why do you feel sad? And you say, I actually don't know. I don't know why. You may have noticed it earlier. I'm not sure. But yeah, I've been feeling sad this whole time. I think it's maybe because I've had a, a rough day or my my boss was, you know, a little rude uh, two days ago. She said something that kind of bothered me. I, I actually don't know why I'm sad. I don't know what to do. But I just wanted to let you know that. Um and then he's going to feel like, oh, wow, like I want to I want to help. Like, you know, why why do you feel sad? Like what else do you think it could have been or, you know, what makes you know, what would make you feel better? You know, what can we do? Do you want to go? Do you want to go dance? <laughs> you want to go do something else? Like, let's get going. So he might actually present solutions of his own that he can't, comes up with. You're not giving him the solutions. You're not telling him what to do. Um, or even to do anything with it, but you're being honest and open with it because he, if you're really feeling sad, he's probably going to know about it and he's going to feel it. So now you're actually telling him, being authentic and telling him that you are, and then maybe that you're having a hard time being present because of it and you don't know what to do. And he gets to like, no, he gets to understand and he could potentially do something about it. So you're constantly doing this. You're constantly, when strong emotions come up, you're being willing to share them with him in the right way where you're not telling him what to do. You're not trying to control. You're not taking the lead and you're not penetrating him energetically, which would be masculine. And you're not saying, I feel sad. I do something about it. You're saying, may I share a feeling with you? I feel sad. And this is, and then he'll ask why. And this is the reason why. So you're letting him, you're showing him respect. You're also not dumping it on him. You're gradually being able to reveal to him your heart as he is, you know, willing to hear that and able to hear that. And if throughout this process you find that you're doing this consistently with a man and he doesn't care about your feelings, um, then you know it's it's not the right man. It's not a man that's that's emotionally matured. It's not a man who cares about you. It's not a man who is able to handle your emotions. Maybe he's a narcissist or a sociopath or a just an immature guy. He's not ready or he's emotionally closed off himself and he's not able to handle it. But you're still being a high value woman regardless. You're giving him that chance to step up and want to hear your emotions, want to do something or not because you're not doing it to try to get something from him. You're doing it to vulnerably share and be connected and stay open, which is going to cause that attraction, that chemistry. And you're being in your feminine, which is for you more than it is for him. You're being a feminine woman who is, has an open heart and is able to express and is able to be vulnerable, which which is magnetic for others. And it's also magnetic for yourself because you're going to feel better that you don't have to hide your emotions. You don't have to pretend that things are good when they're not, which is masculine. It's putting on this masculine armor, the shield that's like, I'm good. I'm strong. I'm powerful. I don't. I don't feel emotions. I feel that's. It's a man. It's a man. Men are. Men are. The masculine is about that emotional emptiness. It's about getting things done. It's about outcomes. Process. It's about the outcomes. It's about the leadership. It's about doing what's right regardless of how you feel. The feminine is about the feeling, the expression, the process, and the beingness. That's the feminine, which is what you're practicing, which is raising your own levels of happiness and desire and and happiness and self-worth within yourself so that's the process and uh, that's what you have to consistently do and if a man doesn't care you have to be willing to walk away and detach yourself from that man because he's not a man that can value your heart if he's not responding well when you're doing it in the way i teach you and not just throwing the emotions at him or penetrating him energetically a man will start to cherish your heart or he will reveal that he's not a man capable of that and in which case you need to detach. So either way, it's going to help you. It's going to help you be the ultimate test if a man is really um, a quality man for you, or it'll be the ultimate test to actually have him draw closer to you and be um, more invested, more connected, and value your heart and want to make things better as much as he possibly can for you and lead in the relationship for your pleasure. Hope this was helpful. Now, if you'd like to get a loving, long-term, and committed relationship with a man who really cherishes you deeply and who wants to keep committing and devoting himself on a daily, on a daily, uh, regular schedule, you know, he's constantly devoted to you and having a loving, long-term relationship with him, then make sure to take our free Feminine Polarity quiz, which you can get by going to femininepolarity.com or clicking on the link in the description or comments or bio here. And much love. I hope this was helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again in our future videos. Bye-bye.